Good morning. Uh, today, uh, sometimes we make up some nice little bits of work or works of art or whatever, and we want to at one time put some finish on them, like paint them or varnish them or, or lacquer them. And so, well, these are round windows. Well, you know, I've made round windows before, but these are actually for my house. Uh, now, we want to paint them, you want to keep them up off the thing so you can paint both sides at one time. And there comes the problem. Some people say, oh, I'm going to put a stick in underneath them like this. But if they're wet on the other side and uh, this, that, that's going to uh, damage the paintwork. So what we're going to do is we're going to make up some uh, pyramids for it. So here we go. Uh, my assistant will hold that camera there. So we have some, I have some scrap wood here. So square, make sure it's square. It don't matter what size it is. Uh, Don't it's not off it. Uh. So that's 46. So we're going to measure 23 here. 23 millimeters. And I'm going to cut these in the bandsaw. The reason I'm cutting it in the bandsaw is because I have a bandsaw. videos are all live so if something goes wrong it goes wrong so we're going to make 23 here again and what we're going to do is join that one to that one because it's going to be lying flat on the on the uh, table of the saw so it's going to be still square There we have our pyramid, so if we're going to leave them all the same size, we don't need them up that high off it. Uh, we're going to lift her up off it, so I'm going to make them maybe like... Um, I'll leave them 25, which is about one inch. And I'll square that. If you make one at a time, you can... Basically, you need the long piece to hold when you're when you're when you're uh, using the saw. So after I cut this one, then I can make the next one, the next one, the next one. So I don't have to use a second piece. That's to save wood. So you're actually only using altogether mm, maybe maybe less than less than two inches anyway of wood, 50, 45 millimeters. to continue with the video we're going to make four of these so the wood stands up on these and there's only a very very fine point here that's actually touching the wood and it's wood is soft as well it's not going to make a dent in it you can buy these <laughs> these pyramids or but you need four of them you need four of them per round window anyway that's for sure no three of them per round window but four of them is going to be stable so i'm going to make up um, them and then i will show you then in a minute Okay, so there we have it. I sanded them up a little bit. Put one, 
For a round, uh, like, <laughs> like a three-legged stool, you only need three for a round one. For a rectangular one, a uh, window or frame or whatever, of course you would need uh, four pieces, one in each corner. Uh, so I have these uh, three ready for, I'll be giving them, the wood is already pre-treated, but uh, I will be giving them another coat because we machined the wood and uh, we'll be giving it two coats of uh, a clear selignum followed by uh, some sadelin, I think I'm going to put on it, sadelin. Uh, I've got sadelin for it. So that's it, much easier to paint. You have this side painted, you turn it over. And uh, thank you, very small, very short, very simple. So that's it then, uh, that's uh, simple. Uh, Pyramids, painters' pyramids. I think that might be the name of them, but you can buy them anyway. I think but you can't buy them here. Uh, but why would you buy them when you can make them in a couple of minutes? Uh, uh, thank you for watching uh, the short, very simple, uh, anyone can make uh, project. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like or hate or say something anyway. Thank you.